Okay, welcome back to another beginner tutorial for Unity and Playmaker. Um, this time I'm gonna go through how to create these little animations between your levels to add that AAA polish. If you're an advanced developer, hit escape on your browser and hit back and find a different tutorial because I will let you down. Okay, so the game I'm making here, each level ends at the end of the day. Most indie games just kind of cut and then start back up again with you standing in the same location. I want to do that cool thing big games have where you actually wake up from sleep and you stand up and then you're back in your first person controller. You walk around, whatever, whatever, and then at the end of each scene, you'll wake up and you'll be standing in the same place. I want this cool animation where you stand up from the bed and then you're, and then you get to walk around. Okay, so the first thing we do, we need to clone this project by just saving. Right now, this is uh, version six, so I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a file save as, and just for kicks, I'm going to call this wake. All right, now we're in a Unity project called wake, and. Now that we have that in, we need to go, make sure we double click it. We need to go to settings, projects, build settings, and add open sources. And we see wake. We also want to include six. And this, this loads in order. So we're gonna make sure we drag wake on top of six. Okay, now they're ID zero and one. And go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and save the game, control S, go back to six, and make sure the build settings are the same. And they are the same, okay? So let's go back to our wake state. And the first thing we can do is find all our first person controllers and our FSMs and kill them all. Okay, so I killed the first person controller and all the FSM, so there's nothing going on here. So now all we need to do first and foremost is to create a camera. And right now you can see the camera is stuck as a child of fence. Let's go ahead and drag him up to the root. Let's go ahead and position our camera where we wanna wake up, basically. Okay, before we start this process, we wanna add two new tabs to our UI. Um, if you don't already have them, one is, they're both under animation, one is the animation panel. And I'm going to go ahead and dock that right next to my Playmaker, because it has the wider width. And the other panel is also under animation. It's called Animator. I'll show you where that goes in a second. Actually, it's perfect. It's right here. Okay, we have our camera where we want it in place. So let's go ahead and add an FSM to that. Whoa. Right click, add FSM. Okay, so now we want to add a global transition. So we'll go here, just don't click on this guy, click on the empty space, go to events. We'll add an event and we'll call it wake. And if we right click on the canvas, we'll add global transition called wake. Okay, now in this wake state, Click on the state, and we want to go ahead and pre-program uh, load scene. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Uh, scene index. Let's just go ahead and go back here as a refresher. Build settings. Our normal game is scene index one. We could type six also, but Scene level one, it's, it's easier because you you have to spell it exactly alike. So go back here. Scene index, scene index is one, and that is correct. Okay, now we still have our camera selected. Let's go to inspector and add a component to it. Add component, and you want to add an animator component to it. All right, so that's all happy. Okay, we created an animator for the camera and there was no controller. So if we go back to our project folder, right click on any empty space, right click, create, 
animator controller. And we will call that wake also, make things easier. Go back to the camera. Go to our inspector. Where was it complaining? Controller. I'm gonna drag this over to wait. Okay. Now time to do the animation. Okay, make sure our camera selected. And now we're gonna do our animation panel. And we're gonna create creating an animation clip. Surprise! We're gonna call it the same thing wake. Um it wake anim and now it's just sitting here listening to whatever we're gonna do right now it's highlight high lit on camera so it's waiting for us to do stuff okay so it's gonna hit con re little record button and I'm gonna drag this out to 60 frames and I am going to just move our camera where we want to end up standing. This is our scene view, that's terrible. So let's go to move off the bed. It's off the bed. Rerotate him to look down or her. Okay, that's a little low. It's also kind of janky, so let's rotate it back. Whoa, okay. Now if we hit stop, we can actually replay that animation. What's going on with my... Okay, that's a simple sweep. That's kind of no fun. Let's do something, let's inject some life to it. You'll see here if I go back to record, add some keyframes here. Let's rotate. Like where I should re recall, I don't remember what it's like to get out of bed. How sad is that? So it's, that's already kind of good. Let's add maybe a little, one more bump. And then we clump back down. There. All right, hit stop. Okay, looks good. So if we go back to our new animator tab and we have our camera. Whoa, why is it so teeny? <laughs> okay, you'll see your states and the only state we have is wake, wake anim. We're gonna click that guy. First thing we're gonna do is make it a lot slower. That's 60 frames a second, so that's in one second. It's gonna be one second. And it, what are you going to crack? So we're gonna make it five times that by doing a 0.2 on the speed, and we are going to deselect the replay. Otherwise it'll loop. Okay, and we do that by going back to our project. There's our animation, wake anim. Go to inspector and deselect loop time. Okay. And if we go back to our animation panel, Make sure camera's clicked. Okay, in our new animation event, we have to do send, send event. And the send event we called wake. Let's make sure that is the case. Camera, playmaker, wake. So that should be it. Go ahead and save that and build and run. Okay, so a couple things to clean up. We didn't end up the, looking the same direction with our first person controller and it was way too slow. So real quick, let's bang this out. So that is the wake animation. Right now, oh, when it builds, be careful. It switched back to the main game. So uh, while we're here, we can go to um, our scene, get close to where we were standing, 
with our first person controller. First person controller. Rotate. I want to say that's close. No? Maybe back a little? Oh, right. It was back by the pillow. Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Control S. Go back to wake. And slow that puppy down. Um, go back to our animator. Wake M and M. It's way too slow. So let's pop up five times as fast. Um, half a second, 1001. Uh, let's make it one. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I hope that gave you some idea what to do next. I want to say my animation was too high and to the right, but you can perfectly sync it up and you see the potential of doing those guys. All right, hope you had fun, gives you some ideas, and I will see you next time. Bye. Ah, get me out of here.